This video is supported in part by Retro Days, a place for nostalgia nerds to gather, share memories, chat, and engage. Go to RetroDays.com or check their YouTube channel linked below. Are you looking for a little help in getting MAME set up to play your classic Game & Watch favorites? Well, you've clicked on the right video. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. A few months ago, we ran a live stream where we played all of the Game & Watch titles currently supported by MAME. Now, MAME originally stood for the Multiple Arcade Machine Emulator. Over the past few years, MAME has outgrown that original name because in addition to emulating old arcade machines, it can also emulate classic consoles, handhelds like the Game & Watch, old computers, and more. Well, in that live stream that I mentioned, I ran through every single different Game & Watch that MAME supports, and we got a lot of comments saying, John, please tell me, how can I get this set up so that I can play these old Game & Watch titles? Well, it's actually quite easy, and I'm happy to help. So in this video, we're gonna get you from absolute zero to up and running with these Game & Watch games. Here we go. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No games, no puns. Not a lot if you're a grown up. Okay, let's get going. And this won't take long. It's really quite easy. Some basic understanding first. Know that I'm going to be doing all of this on Windows 10. If you're using something else, that's going to be up to you to understand what's different. But the key concepts are going to be the same. You need the software itself, and that is MAME, the software that actually does the emulation. You need the game and watch ROMs, the read-only memory. That's the software that ran the original handhelds. And then you need the artwork. The third part is the artwork that makes the handheld look pretty when you run it. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to get those pieces, where to put them, and how to run your game and watch. First things first, let's get the software. So I've gone to mamedev.org. I'll put the links to any websites I reference in the description of this video. And I'm going to go right up to downloads, click there and go to latest release. And then I'm going to select the uh, latest one, which is 233B and click to download. The main download I got is a self-extracting EXE. It's recognized by 7-zip, so I'm just gonna right-click, drag it. When I release the right-click, I'll see 7-zip and just say extract here. You can do this any way you want. The bottom line is you want to extract this archive into a folder of your choice, and remember where that folder is so you can get back to it easily. Now what you're gonna see is all of these folders and files, the important ones you wanna take note of, here's this artwork folder, that we're gonna come back to later, in addition to this ROMs folder that we're gonna come back to later as well. All right, now we move on to where to get the ROMs for the Game & Watch titles. Now, this is one of those gray area things in terms of legality. It's not technically legal for me to give you a link to the ROMs where to download them. It's just not responsible. And they're not difficult to find. You know, in fact, you know, screw it. I'm gonna tell you how to get these ROMs. I don't care, I'm throwing caution to the wind, but not here, not here. Come with me. Here, hold on, come on. Okay, I've got to take this somewhere where nobody else can hear what we're talking about because this is sensitive. I mean, seriously. No, no. Okay, come on, hold on. No, it's just too exposed, too exposed. Here. Oh, in here, in here. Wait, okay. All right. Shh, look, listen. Okay, I think, I don't think anybody can hear us here. Just make sure you have like, like a secure browser, you know, antivirus, firewall, whatever it takes. Be careful. And, and then navigate to G-O-O-G-L-E. It's called google.com. Yeah, it's really that simple. Even though I can't tell you exactly where to find the ROMs, just open up Google. I have Google open here. I'm just gonna literally paste that I want to look for game and watch main ROMs hit enter and see what comes up. I scroll down a little bit. Hey, here's an awesome video you can watch all about Game & Watch MAME emulation. Hmm, maybe check that out. So by scrolling down just a few more pages on these Google search results, I found this site. And I'm not gonna blow them up. I'm gonna gray out the site. You can find it just as easily as I did. It's not that tough. And look, I'm gonna do a quick search on the page for watch. Look at all these Game & Watch ROMs that are available to you. I'm gonna grab Ball because it was one of the first ones. I click on that, it immediately downloads. While I'm here, why not? I'm gonna grab Donkey Kong. Sure, so we'll grab two of them. All you need to do is grab all of the ones that you want to play from a site very much like this, assuming you can find it at one of these weird sites on the internet that 
you will have no trouble locating. Back in our file explorer then, we again have both our downloads folder and the MAME installation folder. I'm gonna open that ROMs folder we talked about. I will take both of the ROMs we downloaded and I'm going to move them right into the ROMs folder. Now, we are ready to play these ROMs, but they're not gonna look very good. Let me show you what I mean. If you come down to the main EXE and run that, it's gonna open up the main dialog, showing you all of the games that could be playing. I'm gonna select on the available filter and you'll see two games. Guess which two? The ones for which we now have ROMs. By the way, I did make one small change to the main configuration just to make it run in a window so it didn't change my video resolution. Other than that, this is a stock install of main. So if I just double click on ball, it opens, tap a key, and there is ball ready to run. But it doesn't look like the game and watch, does it? It just looks like these black and white things. Now it is playable, there's sound and it's working, but you want it to look like the game and watch. At least I do, and I did in that live stream. So I'm gonna hit escape and jump back out and escape again exits that. So let me show you where to find the artwork to make these things look beautiful. Now there are plenty of places online to download the artwork for these game and watch games. Unlike the ROMs, these are not restricted. It's just artwork to help you play the games once you have acquired the ROMs themselves. I prefer Progretto Snaps. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. What I like about it is that once you get there, you can filter. And since all of the game and watch are prefixed by GNW and I can do a search Search, boom, there's all the ones specifically for the game and watch. We were playing ball, so let me grab the ball download. There we go. And while I'm here, let's see if I can get that Donkey Kong. Sure I can, there's Donkey Kong and I'll download that one as well. And one more time, back in my file explorer, you can see I have the downloads as well as my folder for MAME. Into the artwork folder then, I'm gonna take the new artworks that we have and move those down into the artwork folder itself. Now, when I run MAME again, so let's double click on ball. Now look what I've got. Look how great this looks. It actually looks like the original ball game and watch game. Not only that, but when you move, look, you can see that the, the buttons depress. How about that Donkey Kong? Want to give it a shot? Let's fire it up. And there's the Donkey Kong 2 screen. Start it up and you're off and playing Donkey Kong. So that is really all that it takes to get Game & Watch up and running and playing inside of MAME. Rinse and repeat for each of these titles that you want. Grab the ROM, grab the artwork, throw it in there, and enjoy playing. Once you get this up and running yourself, I hope down in the comments below you will let me know which of these Game & Watch titles you are most enjoying replaying, and I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups. Your dinner cannot just be french fries.